All right, today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to bypass a clutch pedal. Um, so basically, what you'd be able to do is start the car without the uh, pressing out, um, pressing the clutch pedal. Now, just keep in mind when you do do this feature, I'm not responsible for anything. This is just, you know, kind of your own way. Um, keep in mind that you actually can start the car in gear and it'll be running. Um, so just keep in mind that so you're fully aware of that. It's your sole responsibility if you cause any damages on your own behalf. Now, basically, this is a very simple process. Now, some cars do have, um, they do have two switches. They'll have the bypass switch, and then they'll have, like, a clutch, um, interlock switch. So, um, the one I'm going to be showing you is on, um, a Honda. Usually, most Hondas will have two switches. So, usually for the older generations, but I believe for the newer ones, they don't have, them. Um, so, if you are going to be doing it on the older one, make sure that you check it and that it's up on top. Um, there's two of them. There, you might see one, and then there's one up on on top. So one way you can determine of which one is the actual um, switch is that you can actually press the switch button itself until it fully collapses, and then try starting the car. If it does start, then you know that is your actual switch. So um, yeah, I mean it's a pretty simple step. You're only going to need a few couple tools, nothing too crazy. Um, if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions regarding this setup. And then share the video for other people that want to do this kind of setup. And then hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And we'll go ahead and start this video after the intro. So basically the tools I'm going to be using, I have a power probe, uh, like an iron solder. Now you don't need to have this. Um, you can actually use butt connectors. I just don't like using it. I'd rather solder it and make a better contact. Um, so you're going to be seeing me doing this now. The butt connectors actually be a would actually be a quicker setup, so it'll take literally like a couple minutes. And you would just need pretty much the wire strippers, and then you would just use this part just to cut the wires. And then this piece right here would be just a stripper. So you would strip out the wire so you can get the copper showing. And then right, so yeah, you're going to need this. So you're going to need this part right here just to cut the wire um, for that part. And then um, we're gonna use be using some heat shrink. Now, if you're soldering, um, if you're using the butt connectors, you don't need the heat shrink unless if you're showing some wire. I'm using the heat shrink because I'm gonna be soldering. And then I have obviously, um, it's like a, I forgot what the name was. It's mostly for soldering like copper pipes, but this actually helps out pretty well like uh, distribute the heat when soldering. And then, um, this will be like for like the like the iron solder so you can um like this will um this will melt and then it will make sure like uh the wires are pretty in contact and then, um so it won't separate again so this is kind of like a, a weld for it so you would need to heat this up um with the iron it's um the solder iron the iron gun the soldering gun and um yeah i mean yeah, that should be pretty much it. Um, so basically, obviously, we have our three pedals. Obviously, this is our clutch, brake, and then gas pedal. Don't get these two confused. We're only worried about the pedal all the way to the left. So as you can see, um, I'm going to go ahead and try to start this vehicle. So as you can see, I have the key all the way on the on position, and I'm not pressing on the clutch. So, so right here is the clutch pedal. Here's a perfect example. There's two of them. So usually the one that's pressing on it would usually be like a lock inner switch, um, and then the other one would be the safety switch. So the up, the upper one, as long as the button's not touching. So we're gonna I'm just gonna kind of show you right there. You see how the button's not touching it. So that kind of is kind of a dead giveaway that that's the um, safety switch. So basically we'll just go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and press that. And then as you can see, I'm not pressing down on the clutch. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. And so it starts. Make sure your car's in neutral before trying to start this. And then we'll just go ahead and turn that off. So, basically it's just a two wire thing, um, nothing fancy to it. So we'll go ahead and um, pull this tab right here. So it's just a connector. Just pull it. And then we'll cut this, this wire. So we'll just have enough slack so we can solder this. So 
so we're gonna go ahead and cut this. And then we're gonna go ahead and strip this. Now make sure you go by the correct corresponding one um, of the, the thickness of the stripper. So usually you can just kind of crimp it down and then just kind of slightly release until you're able. And then I'm gonna use both of my, I'm gonna have my palm against my thumb and then I'm just gonna kind of use that like as the puller. So just like that, we'll do the same thing for the other one. And just like that. Then what you're gonna go ahead and do is just spin these wires around until they're braided. So just like that, you don't want it to look like this because it won't make as a good contact. You want it to make as best of a possible contact. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put in our heat shrink first. And then we'll go ahead and get these guys. Just kind of twist them so you can lock them up. And then we'll have it just like in a little loop like that. So this is where we get the putty at so this is kind of like a little paste like i said it'll distribute the heat evenly and just make sure you kind of just rub it right in there so keep in mind when you're going to solder this just kind of have like a little towel on the bottom just in case so you don't burn the carpet or anything and then the solder the solder gun basically um, you're going to dip the soldering gun inside the putty too as well so we can make sure that this contact is a little bit clean And then you're gonna see some smoke coming from it. So you can see right there. You need to let it warm up. And then get your soldering ready. So I usually like to have it like this, kind of like a little pencil. So once this is all heated up. Now be extremely careful, this is gonna be pretty hot. So I like to touch this first before I start anything. So once it starts melting, I know we're good. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our iron right there. And you're just gonna keep holding up until it starts, until when it gets pretty hot. So now we're going to go ahead and put this, be careful, it's, a it's going to be a little bit hot. And as you can see, you can pull this apart, but you can't, um, so that's how you know your, your solder is pretty well. Now you don't have to get the heat shrink, you can actually use electrical tape, hopefully this will work. I think I might have shrinked up the heat shrink a little bit. Oh, there we go. And after we're done with that, we pretty much get a lighter. And then we'll heat it up. This has a little heater, so mine's going to be a little bit different setup. All right, so now we have the car. Um, so obviously you can see the three pedals. Obviously you know it's stick shift. So I just want you to make sure, make sure it's a neutral before starting. And then we'll go ahead and start it. And there you have it. Now, for some of you that don't fully understand like the capability of this, um, now this is just only for starting. This has nothing to do with shifting, so don't worry. 
this is just meant solely for shift um, for just starting so if some of you are getting kind of confused like wait like don't you got to press in the clutch like what would that do once you're um, pushing in the clutch um, again this is just meant for starting so you can just start it you can actually do an aftermarket alarm sometimes the switches go bad and you can't start the vehicle um, so I mean this is a it's a pretty nice little setup on all my cars I put this in um, I just recommended this one for my customer because he's having starting issues so this could probably be the um, symptom I just threw it out there and I asked him if he wanted to do it but um, I mean there's no guarantee to the fix because it would randomly not start um, but that's that's apart from this uh, if this video helped you out give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions on this don't be don't be shy to ask or there's no such thing as a stupid question on this part. I want to make sure you're fully aware of this. Share the video for other people so that they're pretty well aware of this. And then comment or hit the subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And thanks for watching.